Hello and welcome. This is Chris, your Tech Talk Doc. Follow us on YouTube, the Tech Talk Doc, on Instagram, on Facebook, and on X, Dr. Brennan MD. Today we're going to be looking at how to create a contact list in Google, how to import, export, and assign different categories. First, log into your Gmail account and you'll see nine dots here, Google Apps. Select this, go to Contacts. Now what I did is create a contact list of essentially fake names and numbers and email addresses. So for the purposes of this, when we open up the Google contact list, you'll see here contacts in the left bar. It'll close if you click it. You'll see the frequently contacts merge and fix it'll find the same name in your contact list and it will ask you if you'd like to merge it into one contact then you have import trash and labels so we'll show you how to use labels as well as import export and uploading it or your google contacts so that you can have those contacts available on your android or iphone device first I'm going to go to import, import contacts, select the file. So I'm going to select the file that I created. Trying to back up your mobile contacts, here is how to sync them. We will look at this first. So it'll explain to you how to sync up everything. All right, on your phone. If you have Android, computer, or iPhone. So you Google contacts, sync to your Android device when you sign in. All right, and they automatically sync to keep them backed up and up to date. If you use a work or school Google account, download contact app. Make sure you download the contact app either way. All right. You can turn it on, turn it off, sync, however you'd like. On the computer, on the Mac. All right. You're gonna go on your Mac computer, open preferences, internet accounts, Google. All right, enter your email address and password. Next, check contacts. And then the instructions on Windows 10 or 11 computer device and finally your ipad iphone on the iphone or ipad open the settings tap contacts you might need to scroll down of course and contact if you've already synced a google account to your device tap accounts and then tap add account google and follow the instructions assigning to your google account choose which google apps to sync with your device you can update the settings at any time and save so and if you have issues with them not syncing, let me know. Or go on to support.google.com contacts. But first, let's go back and let's import the contacts. So I'm gonna select file and I had made a sample Google contacts.csv, I'll select. And file has been successfully uploaded click import below to start importing now under options you have label now say you want to create a label of let's say doctors app's staff let's just call it that i'm going to save Otherwise, it'll label it as an import with the date. So let's label it that. Now it creates on the side here a label. Let's import and see what happens. It's importing contacts now. And you can see it's imported these contacts here. And they come under doctors, APPs, and staff. It does have this imported on 811 which will show here. I personally don't like that. So let me go ahead and hit delete label, but keep all contacts and delete this label. All right. Now, if you'd like to edit one, simply open it. All right. You can upload a photo of the person, but also if you are using Google and they have a Gmail account, when you actually add their Gmail account, it will put their Google account photo there. All right, 
you can add the birthday you can add and manage labels let's go to edit so you can see the interface that you use here you can add several emails or addresses or phone numbers and also their birthday so it'll remind you of their birthday a website related person so it's a pretty good contact app they have now let's do this let's go back to contacts let's say i want to export just this well you know what let's bring in another one first so i can show you let's go back to our contacts now i'm going to go to import again i'm going to select file and this is the sample number two let's give this a different label let's call it family all right and remember now that you've identified these labels when you go to email you can actually select a label that you want to email so I'm gonna hit import and it's importing and it has imported right so now this is our family these are our doctors APPs and staff again I don't like having this imported on so I'm gonna delete that I'm gonna keep the contacts and delete this label perfect now let's say I want to export contacts if I want to export I can simply go over here to export and it's going to ask me what I want to export 11 contacts or do I want to do it by labels so say I want to export doctors APPs and staff only I'm going to select this all right and for these purposes I want to use a Google CSV you could also for Outlook or for Android or iOS. So right now I'm gonna export these five contacts and you can see here that they will appear right here. Now you could also use this to input information as well and then re-import it. So right now, if I was to go onto my phone, these contacts will show up if I have this Google account installed on my Android device and syncing contacts. You can open the tab, you can go to google.com. You're gonna select the account you're working with. And I'm gonna to go to Long Island Aftercare, which I'm working with. You're gonna to go to the dots here. You're gonna go down to you find contacts. All right. And these are the contacts that we have imported and showed you how to export. And these are the labels. So family, doctors, APPs. So you got it. Any questions, let me know. But if I was to put a duplicate, up it would say merge and fix okay